Don't forget this. I've been so excited about Ben Franklin from the beginning. I want to open this up now. It's a beautiful morning with the barber shop duet. Hi, I'm Marcus Klinger with Klinger Vocal Studio. And I'm serving to a servant in virtual Pilates. But on Wednesdays and Saturdays. We are the Barbershop Duet. Hey, y'all, come Thanks on in. Coming. If you're here during the live premiere, join the chat. There's a great group of folks from all over the yeah, world. Say hi, us. introduce yourself. We'd love to meet you. Mm-hmm. And for our mention today, y'all, we just opened a giant box from Sterling that didn't have any shaving soaps in it we because we love them. all their other stuff so much. We and do. we wanted to re-mention their shampoo bars mm-hmm. and conditioner bars because they have become our absolute yes, staples. They live in our shower. So this is the size that you get for shampoo bar. Yeah. And it looks like this. Nice this is about flame. five bucks, y'all, mm-hmm. for the shampoo bar. It's about double for the conditioner bar. However, look at my face. Right. These last at least twice as long mm-hmm. as the shampoo bars. We have come to realize. So we so. buy two Two shampoo bars per one conditioner. And they seem to work out great. (laughs) If you're not one of those types who's the evil Knievel type who mixes their soap fragrances, well, you might just want to try combining Mm -hmm. a different shampoo and conditioner because they can make amazing Mm -hmm. combinations. Like this one, Sharp Dressed Man Shampoo Mm -hmm. and Barbershop Conditioner, y'all. Who knows? And just wait to go on a double scent adventure in your shower. Plus, add a soap bar. And I mean, who knows? You could just be in there for hours. Combos are limitless, clearly. Uh, But yes, these are important to us in our day. And we have done a little test. These send out in our barbershop duet greeting cards mm-hmm. so if you are here during the live chat put your hand up and we will send this one sale? out to you for free this is the roasting chestnuts one of our favorite mm-hmm. christmas scents Super from fun. Mm-hmm. and chestnuts roasting i gotta say aren't crazy 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 holiday right. you could use this throughout the year it has a fun little ode to the holidays in it but not too overwhelming that it wouldn't be right. acceptable and we had a meeting we decided that there's a beautiful touch of vetiver in this yes, that helps open is. up the chestnuts mm-hmm. so if you know put it in the comments mm-hmm. and if you're here and you've never experienced this put it in the live yeah. chat we'll send this out to you for free so you can experience mm-hmm. it too but now it's time to get to marcus's new long-awaited soap it's an interesting one from what we've heard it <laughs> is ben franklin and ever since i was five years old and i saw that disney cartoon ben and me about the little mouse i have been fascinated <laughs> so in sterling i noticed when we got into the world they had redone a few of their labels yes, to be more did. a little bit cartoony like barber yeah. shop right mountain man did and Ben Franklin has did. A little face and on it. y'all, just the discussions alone about Ben Franklin have not only been hilarious, yes. but have been very educational. This really could smell like anything yeah. we have heard. I have no idea. That Sterling may be retiring Ben soon. So we wanted to do this now in case Sneak y'all wanted in. to join us in mm-hmm. this little mysterious beauty you'd have a chance to before he goes away for a while. So I think it's time. Let's meet Ben Franklin. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we're going to let you in on some set notes a little early because Just gonna read it, yeah. I think this soap is going to be so mysterious. We might need a reminding later on. Yeah. So <laughs> here we go. Made with benzoin, frankincense, maybe that's where the Franklin comes from, <laughs> clove, <laughs> and nutmeg, essential oh. oils. Ah, not every soap is made of essential oils, y'all. So this one is. Okay. This soap smells like oh. an older gentleman's pantaloons <laughs> at the end of a hot July day. In Philadelphia. We read that right. <laughs> drafting important documents with no air conditioner. <laughs> wow. It's, I did not read any of this before. I'm thoroughly intrigued now. <laughs> what are the scent notes going to be? Funk? I mean, seriously? Uh, I mean, that's what they're hinting at, y'all. So, right? I don't know. Thrice worn chonies? Is that going to be a scent note? <laughs> it's actually a very unique scent that reminded a few of my testers of a root beer float, an instant favorite. Well... I don't oh, even oh, know. There's a note. What do we have? Oh, there is a note. The description is tongue in cheek. It smells like a wonderful blend of frankincense, benzoin, nutmeg, and clove. It doesn't actually smell like sweaty old man pants. We'll be the judge <laughs> of that, Rod and Mandy. As of the 3rd of March, 2015, we have been averaging about two to three inquiries per week. <laughs> That's great. As to why we would make a soap that smells like an older gentleman's trousers. Two to three inquiries a week since 2015 you must be busy with all those replies my goodness yo yo okay so uh i'm not entirely sure at all what to expect but out of we're this diving in but on. for some reason i have rarely been this excited to he open this really up excited. in a splash y'all let's let this poor guy out of the box Y'all, he is sweating on the label. 
Okay? Yeah. On the label, he stinks. So I am so excited to see where this is going. We, we Here's our big box of Sterling. We don't buy okay. small from Sterling. You didn't see Deep Blue Sea, and you didn't see Weekend in Malibu or any of anything. Yeah, things are coming. Don't worry. This is what you saw. Ben Franklin! Y'all, there you look. Little duck gobs of sweat on the beginning. Oh look, there's gosh, his pants. Really? That's hilarious. There's the pants. Those are the famous That's pants. That's fabulous. And then, you were right. We did remember to get a special. Of course. I'm not going to just smell like pants on my face. I want to smell like pants Ever. everywhere. So I got Ever. my pants aftershave. Woo! This might just knock our socks off. Ooh, and here we go. There she is. Yo, this might be a pantaloon dropper. It you have no right. idea. <laughs> All right. I've been waiting six months to find <laughs> out what Ben Franklin excited. smells like. Let's have a first impression. <laughs> nope. Surprise. You're you, going you first. Get, no, you're yep, the one. No, mm -hmm. I, I have been dying to ask somebody about this soap, okay. and you're the somebody. All right, here we go. I thought you I'm were going to want to just face. get the whiff. So if, if she does this, y'all. Oh. That's not so good. That's pantaloons. That's straight up drawers. Okay, so here we go. Take it Let's in. see. Old man's pants. I'm I'm thoroughly intrigued. I have no idea. Although I do love root beer, so if that's what people were saying, hey, I may be cool. There you go. But a church this, at Christmas, I've heard. This maybe. could be a whole thing. Who knows? I'm gonna probably have no words. It's Old, okay. Just sweaty Philadelphia trousers. Who knows? Okay, I don't get the sweaty trousers. <laughs> I think we're good. I do get. I see a level of confusion in your face. <laughs> I I literally was taken to. I'm not sure. I have two places that I could be. Okay. Uh, when we went to go Girl Scouts back oh, in the day, yeah. camping into the old cabins in the redwoods, like you had the damp Shut redwoods really? everywhere with like a canvas roof going on. Like think Parent Trap back really? in the day. Oh uh, yeah, or. Or I could be when I would have gone on like a school field trip to like old town Sacramento, maybe in those really old buildings. Something about that era. No idea what year that is, but there you go. All right. Maybe Ben was around. I'm You're not sure. You're just getting me excited now. And then I do get more of the the frankincense parts, oh, like the different types right. of herby. It fe it's more real to me. It's like a fresh right. version. It's not like a dried version. I if spent that a lot sense. of Christmases at church, but I'm not sure what frankincense even smells like. I, I just am telling. I'm getting some herbs. That are clearly from that, I don't know if that's the benzene, the what it is, but there's some kind of a fresh herby green vibe happening. I love it. Now, we've been to like the, the state capital in Benicia and things like that where a really prestigious, famous building right. that's also a couple hundred years old and on the political side, right? Right. Does it maybe remind you of that? I'm getting more wood. Oh. Like that older vibe. Like the building itself? Yeah, I, I do get more of that and I don't. I, but it's it's out in nature. Like there's so oh. much. There's there's a much more like of the fresh herb woods right. green something that's happening Ooh. that's putting me outside and more adventure zone. Gotcha. Which kind of makes sense because they were in like little strapped up tents trying to come around with right. like, at least according to the right. description. Now, sarsaparilla. Do you get the root beer float? It's. I thought it was going to be a little sweeter to push uh, me in that direction. Right. I'm missing the sweet that would totally push it towards the root beer side. Gotcha. So it's more the root. Side. Although I do appreciate your green nails on Sterling I know. Day. Well, it Although was it was St. Patty's Day last night. It, it kind of works for the theme. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Um, and, and there's something I have smelled that's similar to this. I am not sure what oh. it is. Is it a shave soap? No. Oh, okay. Um, but my mom uses a lot of really like natural based kind of stuff yeah, around the does. house. So it's something it's something in this herb zone. Right. And it may be something I know, I just don't know what it's called. So it's familiar to me, but it does have like some age and depth to it that right. would put it more in the Ben Franklin. Does it have some zone. wisdom? Because Ben Franklin was pretty whimsical, y'all. He spent a lot of time in Paris getting in trouble. Uh, very fun-loving you know, kind of party guy. I think you know? the rest of the scent may come out when we get here. Because oh. I can see that this is hinting at some things. So maybe when we lather, but it is not making me run for the hills. I'm not smelling. Okay. You know. So not an iffy soap series soap. No. Okay. Love it. And, so uh, that was a good decision. Yes. We should have done it here. Yes. And I, I, I get a little like of a winter edge to this. Oh, yeah. But I feel like you can use it all year. The first day of spring is not for the three days. So this right. still counts. But yeah. I almost I almost picture where we went camping in Santa Cruz. Like right. those old log buildings that were around. There's there's something of that maybe. Yeah. So see, I, I, think, I grew uh, up in state campgrounds. And, mm -hmm. and normally, you know, you're on your own in little campsites. But there's normally like a central building where there's like right. a little ranger station or a little gift shop or something. Right. Mm -hmm. And that, oh, it was always built with the wood that was around. 
Right. So it always had that beautiful redwood smell, and California has the redwoods. And when we went to Yosemite, that old church that we saw? Yeah, in Yosemite and like, you Valley. Know, You'll know that church. You've seen that. And it's like it's been there that. forever. Right. There's something about that type of smell. <sighs> okay, here we go. Let's Watch see. him Let's completely see disagree. I will laugh very hard. Wow. Oh, right. This is very different. I, I don't know. Don't don't let me deter what you get. No, cup, no, no. But... This is a beautiful natural smell. Okay, y'all, here's where my brain went. Okay, let's have a grown conversation. <laughs> I don't like licorice. I don't like black licorice. It's, it's, mm -mm. Yeah, you do. But there are little parts of it that I absolutely love. I just don't love the heart of it. Ah. So first thing for me was huh. this goes, hey, if we had actually made black licorice from the inside out for Marcus and took out all the stuff in black licorice he doesn't like and kept that? all the stuff mm -hmm. that he does, that's where ah, this interesting. begins. I can see that now that you're saying that, but I did not get that immediately. Wow. But isn't that in root beer? There is something. Yes. And the sarsaparilla root. That's okay, a little that bit what's opening close. the door for me. Okay. I think in expecting a church at Christmas, my nose was expecting a little bit more of the darker, deeper, smokier incenses right. that and us two Catholic it. people are used to at church. That's why I was You have a lovely fresh. gown, Father, but your purse is on fire. You know, the incense that <gasps> he brings. Mm -hmm, yeah. uh, it's not. It doesn't go that deep. It doesn't go spicy. It doesn't go smoky. It doesn't go down to the that incense dryer, in places. Yeah, no. A root beer sarsaparilla is as deep as this goes, and I love that. I love that, that this plays in the mids and the lights while doing it on a really spicy side because all the stuff about licorice that I do like is super spicy. There's even mm -hmm. a plant that looks kind of feathery and smoky that has this smell to it, and it's a California one, but mm -hmm. I forget what it's called. yeah, yeah. But doesn't it feel like you're outside? Like that's what yeah, I have immediately. Right. This doesn't take me. Yes, and I I smell the wood, but I smell it more as like the redwood bark on the live tree. It may be, yeah, and maybe that's what I was getting. This yeah. is nowhere near what I was expecting, and I'm <laughs> loving this because it does. It takes me out to Yosemite Valley with a little bit of those. Maybe it's like the licorice plants because those yeah, don't maybe. smell like black licorice. No, us, but right? it, it's fresh. Like right, and it almost makes me think of like that cold, damp foggy kind of bud, right. you know? Yes, exactly. Like, it makes that come through. And you know what? I am going to He's diving for it. Now, mm -hmm. because I'm I... I'm curious, though. I really think that was going to, like, bridge right, the gap somehow. Mm -hmm. And I love this, and I love that it is not at all what I was expecting. Also, the intensity on this, y'all, is a little bit lighter than your normal sterling. So oh, where really? your normal sterling, I'd put, like, at a 3.5, right? 3, 3.5. This is, like, a 2.5. Just a little bit under. So it's not, like, a hit-you-in-your-face set like I thought it would be. Because, like, Gatlinburg beautifully does that, where you're just instantly in the middle of the Smoky Mountains. Mm -hmm. This takes a second to just get its, its arms around you. Yeah, bit, watch you know? it totally change here, but we'll see. Oh. <laughs> excuse, excuse me for a minute. going in a minute. Excuse, excuse me Hold up. Hold up. One second. Wow. Now I have to get a little bit through the menthol. Because, yeah, there, there's a little menthol. There's, there's a menthol in this guy. Well, well, Wait let's see. a second here. Whoa. Like parts of this there or no? Oh, now I get it. Yep, this is what this is. This is a little bit more of a purer form, right? A little okay. bit more intense. Whoa. Beautifully spicy and clean. Are you smell yeah, that? Right. Once you get past the menthol, because we got the extra oh, menthol. Oh, it's the nutmegs. It's the all spices. It's those things in the middle. Whoa. And then, totally a sweet version of a redwood tree bark. Almost like if a redwood tree bark I'm, had a I'm cinnamon outside, quality yeah. to it. That, if redwood were cinnamon, that's what this smells <laughs> okay. like for me. Yeah, yeah. I, I could get that. And menthol in yeah. my eyes. And then I do, because that part is a little more prominent, then the whole other kind of things are coming out in between. Wow. Okay, you know, hold on. You, you're gonna love this. Hold on, this is funny. I'm okay. scared of the menthol. <laughs> no, a little bit, but on your face, on your face. You're gonna <laughs> love this. I know it's a little. Uh... Oh, wood branches on my grandfather's ranch. Like, whoa. It does. Yeah, boozy is a good word. I think there's something in the middle that I'm like, oh, what is? Y'all, this is way more natural root than root beer. This is beautiful, natural tree bark. This is, ooh, this is those spices, those nutmegs, those all yeah, spices in the middle. It's what they had. Like, if I could go back in time, I do feel like 
that would be the time frame. Right. If there were a Founding Fathers version of a root beer that wasn't root beer, that was a little bit more creamy, that was a little bit more natural, that was a little more birchy, mm-hmm. I think that's yeah. what this is. But And I think that's why I went back to those old cabins that gorgeous. I used to go to when I was really right. a younger right. Girl Scout yes. because they would have been the ones that have been used over and over and over right. and over. And there's something about that age that stays in those woods. And those, yes. You know? And there's a little bit of a natural edge that keeps it there from getting is. too sweet. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's why this stays dapper and masculine is it takes you a little bit to sweet like the same way that the smell of sarsaparilla might take you a little bit to sweet but it doesn't go all the way floral at all Mm-mm. nothing floral nothing Mm-mm. that sweet in this but that's why I love there, it I think we should attempt a lather but I also think we should go back and reread the scent notes now that we've read this and see like kind of the branch from the puck to the lather to the splash of like how this all connects oh we've got an adventure ahead y'all strap in <laughs> Right, y'all. So this is so beautiful and so unique. I think we have chased down that gorgeous note we were just talking about. Yeah. This is Google's description of what benzoin smells like. Because it was the first thing listed, so I'm like, I need to know which one this is. We've had it before, but I right. wanted to narrow it down. So benzoin offers distinctly rich scents of woody, sweet vanilla. Its layered composition unfolds in warm, honeyed facets, yeah. not dissimilar to caramel, almond, or freshly roasted that's it. coffee. That's it. Subtle floral notes awaken slight nuances of carnations in oh. soft, wispy, wispy, or even powdery tones. Interesting. Oh, totally, totally. But I think that's what's actually helping the other things come together. Like right. Franken says that there's something in that that's actually a nice little intro to then dive into the deeper stuff. Right. And y'all, I kind of figured out a secret early on. What you want to do with your soap is smear it in the bottom of the bowl so that you would need a brush to get it off. If your soap gets a little clumpy on the brush or there's clumps in your right. lather, uh-uh. and spread, it, spread it out even thinner along the bowl. And then use the brush as if you're just trying to get it out to clean it. Right. But a nice firm pressure to make that film and you got it going Along off. the ridges so, really help too. Like right. How you kind of get it on the brush. And then if you are a newbie, this is a great episode for the newbies today. Head over to Facebook and join the Shave Dad right, Facebook yes. group. It's run by Jerry Plessy, one of the nicest guys in the hobby. Mm-hmm. And it is just a really informative and awesome place to hang out when you're Again, a Again, some of our international friends from Hard YouTube have jumps. jumped in on there and they love it. Even So right. it is really a cool, fun group. Ooh, y'all, 5.8 ounces of soap from Sterling. And look how it just wakes up. Oh, yeah, it's just right? a beautiful lather. Mm-hmm. And if you get that little cobwebby pattern at the bottom of your bowl, you might want to add a little water mm-hmm. and see what happens, because I bet you it'll reward you. See, now I get why the Ben Franklin faithful are such fans of this. I totally get yeah, it. Yeah, and it's fun, because I know that you like, you like watching YouTube videos on <gasps> history and different things. Like, I feel like there is some sort of history to this. Like, that's why I was thinking downtown Sacramento. Yeah. Like, in those older buildings, there's something yep. here. And I am so... So, getting to appreciate soaps that have a slight bitter note in the middle that is balanced out by the sweet notes in the soap so that by the time you smell it, it already has that mm-hmm. balance to it. But I love it because you can dive into that bitter scent and then find the sweetness on your own. And that's, for me, what takes me on the adventure of this and soap. I know we don't talk about lather, but there's some magic no, happening. No, we, we, we never talk about lather, but you know, aye, aye, aye. look at this. So, HCNC bowl and lather. Bowl I know. Lather, and the, the aforementioned Jerry Plessy would remind the newbie to get a smaller brush, 24 millimeters, so you can use it like a pencil and really see what you're doing in that's the That's why we got this sterling size, because yeah. it was a smaller one. Mm-hmm. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, this is something you will only see on the Barbershop to wet. This is the patented comparative width. On three, one, two. Oh, come on. Yep. Oh, interesting. That really spread out. There's, this you is can the get... bouncy house when it's delivered to your front lawn in the little cube, right? <laughs> this is the bouncy house once it's full of air. Amazing. Okay, so let's let's go back and read now because I'm curious if we smell yeah. it. That's more spread 100%. out. 100%. All right, where are we? And at? now that we got the splash on us, there is something about that interesting frankincense, something in there. It's. It, I, I see it right now. Okay, so made with benzoin, absolutely. And I think that's the star. Yeah, it is a fun mystery. This might be this. our only benzoin forward soap in our yeah, whole It's there, right? though. It's this. totally there. Frankincense, mm-hmm. clove, and nutmeg essential oils and i think that too is yep. key because essential oils are going to have a more natural smell because and they, they are literally squozing out of the thing that they're coming from and they really blend together well like they, it's not like one is overpowering the other like they really just interlace and lock together right. if you want to smell for different ones you can pick them out but they really blend well overall y'all if you enjoy morning hikes out on yeah. farms out in the middle now i don't mean like forests but like places where there just are trees not like too rustic dense, area but like you can smell the grasses you 
you can smell the earth, you can smell all of those things. Mm-hmm. If those scents appeal to you, this is going to be your pony. I am just yeah. loving how this takes me like to the middle of Nebraska. Even mm-hmm. for the smell. Speaking of natural things, oh, ladies yeah, and gentlemen, Elaine she Stretch, <laughs> the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Do you smell Did you it smell the Ben Franklin? What do you think? Here we go. You this, to is say the, hi uh, to ben? this is the Cavalier whiff, ladies and gentlemen. She, she right, wants it off of me. <laughs> do you smell it? Do you want oh. to do it? Oh, I don't nope. want to eat it. No, no, she'll pass. She'll and you know something, folks? I think these old man's trousers are going down. we got to take this a little deeper. Yo, this smells like a walk out in the countryside where there is not another human being for miles. No, I feel like, okay, honestly, if I was having a very stressful day uh, right. or the chaos of life was just too much, I really might gravitate towards this. Like, 100%. there is something, like, if I just needed a respite of closing my eyes and escaping to nature, right. like, this could do it, man. And like, it's not often for me, but there's definitely times where I'm like, I just kind of want to be by myself. And this for those 10 minutes in my shave locker are going to let me do that. Yeah. Don't eat the soap. What are you what are doing? You, finding? you know, here's the funny part. I know they said this doesn't totally smell like old man's trousers, but it doesn't totally not I can smell see, like no. old man's again, trousers. I can see why they get that scent. And I have to say, again, if you're trying to smell for that scent, it's able to be found. You know, but- maybe a sweet character cartoony version of it yeah. maybe from that disney cartoon ben and me but mm-hmm. you know i this is not a country mile from no, and, old man's but trousers. then i can also see why some people got more of the root beer flute side right or even the church at christmas because of the wood and the yeah, spices and the frankincense inside but the, to me there is just such a raw part to this a rustic vibe and out in nature right. a back in time like there there yeah. that to me is what pulls it through so i i right. can see why certain people oh, get that smell right and but- you know what no you know what this does for me now that i think about it hold on imagine you're back at philadelphia right imagine you're at constitution hall and it's right. 1776 and it's the no middle of summer and everybody's just sweating their trousers off right mm-hmm. it's just for me how some of those places might have smelled how paul revere's silversmith shop might have smelled right. how constitution hall really might have smelled and mostly that little tavern where there's a little impish guy in the corner with yeah. no hair on top but party in the back <laughs> that could totally be the place right. where ben franklin would hang out and write his stuff and have his logger right. you know the other thing we were having a conversation the other day about how people nowadays are really quick to point out things that they don't like like the average oh. person if they're walking down the street True. and something smells off they're like oh what's that but mm. not everyone would be walking around and they pass a pie shop and they're like man that smells good yeah. like i don't know why but over time it has changed we're really good at pointing bad smells right but not always the good smell maybe the bad smells are so bad we don't open our noses so much to the, the good, good ones right there's something as humans over time we have not appreciated the scent as much as we could, True. you know. And y'all, just a little behind the scenes look here at the Barbershop Duet, but when we ask each other, hey, what do I need to shave with? What are we reviewing tonight? And it's a Sterling Day? My general response is, yes! Sterling <laughs> yeah. Day! Mm-hmm. Y'all, this is such a fun lather to build and an even more fun lather mm-hmm. to use. And they give you 5.8 ounces of it. This is where value meets quality. Mm-hmm. So just a little aside here, but Rod and Mandy, thank you mm-hmm. for keeping the budgets of all of us shavers in mind. Right? And also the level of quality that we expect it is always here with sterling soaps i have yet to be even remotely disappointed and these if, are amazing right and if you don't want the whole 5.8 ounce tub there is a smaller one so right. you can get even multiple don't shave so often you want to try them yeah. all you don't want to be like craig in scotland who's building another room house. onto his house just to call it. <laughs> no grab the three ounces they're mm-hmm. really beautiful and they're just as fun i think yeah no i'm with you but i'm i'm glad you were you were so brave and excited to get us this one because now i understand i had to and You know, we enjoy finding the ones that are on the cusp of different. Yeah, we like going out to the weeds, y'all, sometimes with our shaving sauce. But no, I think while this one is very, very different, and hear my face, very, very different, I think this has a place at the grown-ups table. I think Mm -hmm. this absolutely needs to be in the middle of these shaving soap conversations because this takes me away to a different year and a different place and lets me just be alone on a beautiful summer day surrounded by natural birch and wood and earth mm-hmm. somehow and i i can't see how it can be polarizing but i sure. think also it's fun to have this type of scent because 
everyone's interpretation of scent is so different. Right. Like there is a lane for someone that's thoroughly going to enjoy this type of scent Very and true. where it takes you, where other people are like, I need a little more cleaner. I need a little more cologne or right. whatever. So uh, it's a fun nostalgia kind of stuff. I would say like right. if I had to pick a lane, there is something about it and it really does take me back in time. So transportive maybe? Yeah, it's pretty simple, folks. All you have to do is wander outside when the clouds are getting a little thick and heavy. Get your kite out and attach a key. Have this idea in your imagination that there might be forces at play in this universe beyond what we can see. Mm. And when that lightning streaks across the sky and your key lights up so bright you can read the Declaration of Independence by it, you just got, got your me. own. Head over to sterlingsoap.com where you can find this and a wide range of other products. Well, I've had my shave with Ben Franklin, y'all. I reached out to Rod and Mandy after we did this one. I don't always do that. I just told them what a beautiful, unique scent this was and how much I loved it. Just kind of give me the sense of an old building here in California, out among the Redwoods, or maybe even Constitution Hall in the summertime. It's just kind of, yes, a little bit of subtle root beer float in there. Just not too sweet. Just kind of keeping you among the birch and the sarsaparilla. What a gorgeous, fun scent this is. So they asked me, does this feel a little bit too old man for you? No, not at all, and I really hope this stays in the regular rotation. And y'all, the Sterling Lather, come on, it's just fun, it's just yogurt, it's just right there, the friend you can always rely on. Welcome to Messages! Y'all, we were absolutely blown away because Matt at Teton Shaving, who makes these incredible brushes, go over to his website, take a look at the selection. They're incredible. He has created a code for us to give away any brush on his entire site to one lucky winner for free, y'all! Thank you, Matt. That is beyond generous. All you have to do to enter is send an email here to we sent you at the barbershopduet.com. Be one of our subscribers here on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Go check out the Teton Shaving channels on the various mm -hmm. social medias and check back on May 1st when we draw our lucky winner and hopefully it's you. Best of luck. And here's I think the best compliment I can give. For a soap I've been dreaming about for six, seven Maybe. months. Yeah. <laughs> it does not disappoint. What I was expecting? No. Mm -mm. Beyond it beyond it as they usually are because right. it is so beautifully takes me to a real place not a cartoon version of ben franklin but out to a beautiful place or a beautiful tavern where he might have actually spent time right. and you know what i know we're kind of different on how we pick soaps because we read online yeah. or we read the shades of the day we get them we can't just go into the store and smell them because it ruins our first impression right. so we kind of have to do a blind buy so we really do spend a lot of time having it in our minds what we think it is i do have to say if we would have just smelled this not knowing what it was called Oh. or hearing anything like just straight off this we may not have purchased it I gotta admit but oh. now that I'm getting my nose on it and I know the story behind it and the other fun details like it really does have a place in our den which is kind of cool so y'all if there is a scent profile or a shaving soap that scares you a little bit that might be your pony because the artisan might have done something so unexpected and so delightful that there's a reason it's been a part of the conversation since 2015 I know I'm so glad we were finally able to crack this open and get it on the schedule <laughs> it's been long awaited but I'm super glad we now have a full episode to share it. So different, and I right? love this. Rod and Mandy, thank you for being willing to take us into the reads, because for some of us, these become our most favorite shave soaps of all time. Don't forget your next appointment with the Barbershop Duet. You'll smell better just watching this. Mm -hmm.